it's now time for us to use power query to clean some dirty data first when we say data is dirty and requires cleaning it simply means that we have certain things that we have to correct about the data either in relation to the structure of the data or in relation to the content of the data and the most important thing is we first need to identify what is wrong now it is very true that a problem identified is a problem half solved this is especially true when it comes to cleaning dirty data the sooner you are able to identify what is wrong the easier it is going to be for you to clean the data as a matter of fact 80 percent of the job is in identifying what is wrong because as you have clearly seen power query is easy to use because once you identify the wrong thing you can also easily identify the right way for you to deal with it in power query now having said that it is also important for us to know that sometimes in cleaning data or in correcting some errors or in correcting some irregularities in our data set we will have to employ a combination of different power query tools and that usually will come based on our analysis of the problem at hand and which of the power query cleaning tools can be used to achieve success so let's get started if we go to our desktop where we have our power query essentials folder inside this folder we have there another folder called dirty data now in the dirty data folder we have six different dirty data for us to deal with and we are going to start with the first one in the next video.